Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about that sensation that we have that we're not on the right path or right with, not with the right person or not working in the job that we're supposed to work. And to do that we first need to define guidance. Guidance is something that pulls us and knows ahead of time where we need to go and what we need to do. Now, guidance sometimes guides us to negative experiences, but retroactively we understand that these experiences had to happen to us. For example, you have to have a breakup from someone in order to find someone that's more appropriate to you because you need to learn what it is that you want through understanding what it is that you don't actually want. To understand guidance, it means that there is a part of us that knows. Some people use muscle testing, other people use deep meditations, other people go to channelers, but eventually we are channeling our own higher self. The way that our higher self talks to us and explains to us what the best way or method or path is, is through our intuition and through our emotions. As clear and easy as that. What does that mean? When you are conversing with someone and you're bored crazy and you're like, what the hell am I doing here? And you're trying to please someone by doing that, your intuition is telling you something is off. Your feelings are telling you something is off. It doesn't matter what type of negative emotion it is, something's off. And then you know you're not supposed to be there, right? Same thing with the job. If you're working your nine to five and you're counting the days until the weekend and you're counting the hours until you end your shift, you can say, then you're probably not enjoying what it is that you do. Okay, you might enjoy it if you do it two days a week, but that's not the proper job for you. Now, again, I'm not going into details. Everyone has their own story, but I can tell you, I can even guarantee that if you leave a non-supporting relationship or if you quit a job that no longer defines who you are, the universe will find a way to provide you with a new set of parameters, with a new type of experience that is more aligned and appropriate with the person that you are today. It's as simple as that. And you have to trust it. You have to trust your intuition because your intuition is never wrong. Even when you think that it's wrong, you will find that retroactively it was right for the person that you needed to be, for the experience that you needed to go through. So when we're talking about guidance and understanding if we are on the path, the right path or off the right path, just ask yourself, how do I feel every day? Just ask yourself, how do I feel with this person? Ask yourself, how do I feel doing the job that I'm doing? How do I feel with my body? Do I look in the mirror and my body is saying, eh, and I feel off about it? It means that I'm not doing something, right? Our intuition is telling us that we need to provide the body with a better human experience. It's either by working out or eating less or eating more salads or whatever it is that you already know. The problem is that a lot of us sort of like dig our own graves. And uh, we feel sad, depressed, lonely, um, bored even. And then that turns into negative experiences, which then create a negative vibration, which then again create that manifestation of another negative experience. And then some people get stuck in that. It's like, it's a loop. Then when you get wiser and older and you let go of expectations and you let go of everything that you thought is real and you just accept your intuition and just accept your higher self and you just accept your life, things become much easier for you. You want to ask yourself, almost every day to raise your awareness to your thoughts, to your beliefs, and to the way that you feel. And usually you will begin by pulling a string of thought, emotion, or belief, and you will actually find that it can go way back into limiting beliefs or things that you think about yourself. And sometimes you're trying to please other people, and sometimes it's because you're not balancing between giving and receiving, you give too much or you're selfish and you receive too much. And then again, you won't find happiness. Nobody that's selfish is really happy. They're always wanting more and more and they're never really satisfied. So this is the work that you need to do. In some parts in our life, we may be very, very satisfied. And yet in other parts in our life, we're not. And we need to ask ourselves why. And can we make a change or can we just accept it? And if we can't accept it, then what is the first step that we need to do? We don't have to know the master plan. We don't have to plan it all out. This is where a lot of people fail. They think that they need to plan everything. No, all you need to do is show intention. Listen to your intuition, 
and show intention to change and say, you know something, what is the first step that I need to do? Maybe I need to spend some time by myself or maybe I need to create some relationships outside of my relationship. There's so many things and it's so individual. But usually our guidance talks to us through our intuition and through our feelings. If everything was perfectly aligned, you would not need anything at all. The human journey is about finding and fixing your path until you find the right path for you. After you find that path, everything is clear. You know why? Because you don't have any thoughts about the future. You don't have any thoughts about the past. You're much more in the moment and you're much more present. And this is how you know that you are where you're supposed to be. When you're just content. That's it, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join one of my life-changing workshops around the world, take a look at my full schedule at reymaor.com. Namaste and have a good day.